Yeah, two four. Eight. I'm just getting this off on the off slip, babe. I'm just gonna check it out. Cause it's got no markings on the number plate. We're looking for a particular HGV style uh, that's linked to basically stealing from lorries and it matches the type of lorry that we know is involved in, in these type of offences. What does the number plate look like, mate? The one on this one is, uh, is plain on the back of it, on the yellow one. The front one should have a GB and a screw. Yeah, we're just having a drive past him now, mate. So that number plate, mate, has it got a GB on it? No, plain. Well, this one's plain on the front of it, mate. Oh, this is a... Very the gut feeling straight away is that we suspect this vehicle might be stolen and cloned and we've, we've probably got a job on here. We'll do, mate. It's showing that the front uh, number plate should have a GB marking on it. When we've gone past it and had a look, it's just a plain number plate, so it's just raising the suspicions that it might it might be, a dod you know, the dodgy lorry. Yeah, mate, it's Yankee Alpha. As Matt tails the lorry, other units, including traffic cop John Terry, are racing to catch them up. Yeah, we see. Uh, M1 southbound at the minute. We've got a HGV now that we suspect's a clone. It's on the motorway. How we're going to stop it? What we're going to do if it doesn't stop? Yeah, there's lots of things now starting to go through his head. I'll jump in front. I'll get the follow me on. Okay, follow me's on. We're going to take him off at this next junction and we'll, uh, we'll have a chat with him and see what the crack is. Is, it, is he not coming? No. Ignored you? Yeah. He's failed to comply when I've asked him to follow me off at the junction. I don't know why. Another officer gets ahead of the lorry and puts his lights on to get it stopped. Now he's going. It is frightening because they're obviously not prepared to stop, but the risk is what are they prepared to do to get away? Looking at the plate images, it appears to be a clone. Goods They've got a heavy piece of machinery there, and if they want to plow through a police car, you know, they're quite capable of doing that. So, yeah, scary. The problem is, because of the size of it, it could quite yeah, easily ram us out of the way, and it's not something we can box in like we can a car. We've got the helicopter lifted, which is about a 20 minute ETA, I believe. Reality, we need them overhead to manage what's going off. Just be careful here, because he might try and ram his way out of us. Trying to stop a HGV that don't want to stop it is just a nightmare. The safest thing for us is to keep it on the motorway. It gives us time to plan, put us tactics in place, keeps members of the public relatively safe. It's just a patient driver, I believe it's a white male, or it's sort of direct tabard, you know, when he gets the opportunity, he's going to just run. The, the worry is if he tries to jump the barrier into the southbound, because obviously moving traffic. Yes, yes, that's what I've got to do. Nine police units from three forces are now surrounding the lorry. South Yorkshire mobiles will do a show of force at the front. Initially, there's South Yorkshire cops ahead of us, which are going to do a rolling roadblock, basically, in the hope that that stops it. If he continues, we've got a stinger, which is a different stinger to what would sting cars. And it should do lorry tyres. Just get ready in case it bells here, Josh. When you hear over the radio that one of their units is being rammed, 
it's your worst nightmare because you're being hit by an 18 ton lorry, you know, there's only going to be one winner there. It's quite capable of causing mayhem, you know, pushing police cars out of the way because, you know, we've got nothing that's going to stop that. It's just hoping and praying that they're not going to cause that much damage or injure someone in carrying on doing what they're doing. To stop the lorry safely, they need to burst its tyres. One officer gets ahead to lay in wait with a stinger. Vehicle is lane three. Vehicle is committed, committed, and one. As you pass the exit, I'm just after under the bridge. Just checking up now. To all units, I need you to back off. Back off. One mile marker. Subject vehicle lane one, 200 yard marker. One of the yard marker. It's committed, committed, M1. Two marking. Vehicle's been stung. I'm not sure how many tires it continues. M1. Subject vehicle is lane three, slowing. Tires are stung, stand by for a dead cap. That's the extreme that they will go to, purely, to get away from us. They know that they're going to run across the road, they're going to put their lives in danger, they're going to put our lives in danger, just to get away. A police helicopter crew using a heat-seeking camera are helping cops on the ground search for the runaways. They're just by the footbridge, going to bring them out on the road. Go on, mate. Go. Yeah, just through the wooded area now by a farm. Um, just coming by the footbridge, just by the footbridge. So that's a car just pulling up. They're just coming up on your right hand side now. Just by that farm building. Immediate right, immediate right, just over the wall. Yeah, just the other side of that wall. He's gone round the other side of the building now, at the other side of that wall. They're both running. Yeah, we've got officers ahead of him there. You're in right spot. They're going to come down that driveway, the, the, the lead officer. They're going to come towards you. Yes, yes. Yeah, officer there, going down that driveway. Yeah, straight ahead of you, both there. 